Alright, I hope the audio works on this. Um, I'm sorry if I sound weird, I'm a bit sick at the moment. But, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial. Um, showing how to do, like, soft body simulations the way that I find is best. It's not the traditional way. So I'll just show you the traditional way. You add, like, a plane. Um, then you give it a collision. Then you add whatever you're gonna turn into a soft body like this. And then you make it a soft body, get rid of goal. And then you turn this to like one. And then play it and you got like this squishy thingy. But that's not the way that I'm doing today. This is only gonna be a short tutorial. Um, yeah. So, you can do the basics, add a plane, scale it up. Um, then, you're going to want to add your object, I'll just do a cube, because it doesn't really matter what your object is, I'll subdivide it, make it a bit, now this is the weird part, normally you wouldn't do that high, but you can do this pretty damn high poly, like very high poly, this is not too high poly, but it's pretty damn high poly compared to what you'd normally be comfortable using. Like, no one would really like using that. Like, that's how high poly that is. It'll run pretty badly. Like, if we added soft body to that, it I haven't got a bad computer, and it will probably still run pretty bad. So, this is the trick. You get a lower poly object, like the sphere, and you kind of make like a box around it. We're using mesh deform. You make like a box around your oh, a sphere actually, a, not a box, but you make it around your object to like fit it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the more precise you are, the better the collisions. Because this is kind of like the hit box, you know, like in games so they have hit boxes and collisions and everything. This is kind of like that, and then you add your soft body to that. Add all your settings. I'll set bend to about five. Oh, I forgot to make that a collision. Oh yeah, now you got a bouncy low poly thing. Now, the good bit is you can get your high poly object and get a um, modifier called mesh deform. Now, I haven't seen any videos doing it this way, but this is you can do this with way better performance than normal. You connect it by pressing your low poly object, and then you just press bind. Now you gotta make sure that no bits are sticking out. Then you just wait. It'll do its thing, and then it's binded. And now, if you hide that with H, your high poly object is actually a soft body now. So now you can really do whatever you want with it. Like you can take this and I don't really know. Let's see. Um, I'll make some basic stairs. There we go. Now it still kind of has the little like subtle effects, but it's way better than um normal. And then you can like give this a bunch of materials, make it chrome. Have it go down as a chrome sphere. Now you can do this with every object. It doesn't have to be a sphere. You could go cube. Make this pretty high poly. And get another cube. And make it less high poly. Make sure they're not sticking out of each other. Try and line it up pretty well. And then make this cube a soft body. <laughs> oh, could I just died? I usually get bending pretty high because it makes it kind of stiffer, which, because I don't like fully soft things what she said. And then you go, oh, where's Mesh G4? 
Mesh deform, press it, bind. And the less hyperly your object is, the faster it will be. And then you can hide the low poly one. Then your high poly model is going down instead. So yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to show today, because I haven't seen any videos detailing this at all. You can even change some more settings and play around with it to your liking, have some fun with it. And yeah, the collisions will stay to your other object, so you can work with higher poly objects if you feel. But you can roughly see that this is way more high poly. Like if we go into wireframe that versus that. Like that's pretty cool. I was seeing a video where I blew up a bunch of chickens and I needed a chicken ragdoll which is really annoying to do. So instead I made a cage around the chicken. <laughs> and I made that its hitbox and it actually really worked. I don't have the video file it was on my old computer though. But it really worked. That was about two years ago. I've been using this for a while. And yeah, you can even do like more detailed things like add hair to your object. And it doesn't affect the frame rate too much. Because it's running off a pretty low poly object. So now you got your hairy cube. Bouncing down. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helped in any way. If you already know, you don't need to comment down, I already know this. And like, put your glasses back on and go away. And yeah, see you in the next one. Uh, and comment if you want me to do more things like this.